I did do a lot of field work, particularly marine work, and a lot of this, as I may already have said, was brought about the, by the Torrey Canyon problem and the fact that we realised if we had another oil spill, uh, we would want to know. I've got a, I took the book that I have on the Torrey Canyon, done by the then director of the Marine Biological Association, done by, I mean, he was the editor of this book. It shows one particular picture of Travone, and the rocks are just green. They're green all over with the green algae that grew there to the exclusion of anything else, because everything in the rock pools and all the ordinary seaweeds had died. They were stripped bare, not so much by the oil as by the detergent that was uh, poured all over the rocks. I mean, that was a problem itself. We didn't know how to deal with it. It was the first huge world incident. And um, a detergent seemed to be the way to deal with it, so as to disperse the oil, but the detergent killed everything in the rock pools and on the things. And this particular picture in this book, which you must, uh, I must get the book back for you to see, it just shows a, a mass of green. It's quite spectacular and very interesting because Travone had been chosen many, many years before as a good site to record. And so we knew what used to be there. And after that, I went there with two or three other people. And again, we recorded all we could. Remember, it was a storm of rain coming down. It was extraordinary. We got the list that we did. Uh, but uh, yes, I, I did concentrate more on marine things. It was precipitated by Torrey Canyon.